Apparently millennials will be able to buy houses if we just stop buying sandwiches. Research from an estate agency claims that if millennials just stop buying lunch, skip one night out per week, and get their parents to give them several thousand quid, they'll be able to buy houses. Yes. Really. According to the calculations from agent Strutt and Parker, giving up a night out once a week could save more than £6,000 a year, and cutting out takeaway meals would knock £2,640 off household spending. Who are these people who spend £115 every time they go out? Because that's what £6,000 a year works out as. Similar question, I love a drunk burger in the back of a taxi, but are we seriously supposed to believe that the average millennial is spending £47 a week on takeaways? No one I know even spends £47 per week on feeding themselves. The classic comment about saving money is that you should be making your own lunch at home, rather than bringing it in. No one seems to reflect on the fact that your time and effort is actually an additional cost, but whatever. Yes, it's true, you can save money by making your own lunch. The research alleges that you'll save £2,576 a year by doing this. But that's only the case if you're spending just over £10 a day on lunch, on the basis of five meals a week, 48 weeks a year, which honestly seems really unlikely. Anyway, while the research seems to have massively overestimated how much people actually spend on everyday costs, it's largely unobjectionable. Until you reach the part where the research lead Stephanie McMahon says, reported in the Evening Standard, those lucky enough to have family that can help will receive an average of £29,400 towards their goal. I'm sorry but who are these people whose parents will chuck them nearly 30 grand of help? If they have multiple children are they going to stump that up for each one? Where did they get that money? Will they adopt me? This secluded cabin in the Swedish forest is the ultimate wilderness escape is this tattoo artist's blackwork racist. Barbie finally gets a hijab sigh. Whatever you think about young people needing to sacrifice the little luxuries that make life more pleasant, the fact is that since 1990, the proportion of 25 to 34 year olds in London owning has dropped from 57% to 27. That's a structural issue, not a problem with selfish 20 somethings liking avocado toast. And no amount of eating a sad homemade sarnie at your desk is going to change that. More, how people live on low wages, 11k a year more, Sky Black Friday deals 2017 are here already for new and existing customers.